gingerbread and spiced pear crackers. Good morning. Good morning. There's the girl from over there. We're having lunch. <clears throat> Tuna, actually chicken salad sandwich with pickles and cottage cheese and jalapenos. And she's having a breakfast bowl. But this is what's in the title. I don't even know what it's called. Oh, they're called Rain Coast Crisps. Gingerbread and Spiced Pear Crackers. So it sounds like a cookie, but it's called a cracker. They're limited edition. They're art artis artisanally. That's a word. Wow. Artisanally. Artisan Ali. Yeah. Artisan Ali. This is a very difficult word to say. Crafted in small batches, numbered individually. Artisanally. 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 Oh, artisanally. Yeah, that's how you say it. Artisanally. Thanks, babe. It says numbered individually. Where's I want I want to know my limited dish. Oh, it is numbered. Holy crap, that's funny. Okay, pack day three hundred and fourteen. Batch number twenty one. Unit number five twenty seven. Wow, this is like limited. Should I save these and never open them and then sell them on eBay later down the road? Okay, alright anyways, sorry. Let's get on with this. Very yummy product inside. They're, my expectations are going higher and higher the more I read. Oh, these are French? Are these French? Leslie's Kitchen. That doesn't help me out, none. Product of Canada, so yeah, French, I guess. French Canadian. French Canadian. All right, so they come in this fancy little turn me over. No, it almost looks like meat, but like flash frozen, like flash dried. So all the moisture, it. This is weird. Okay, I'm very curious about these. I'm gonna open this so it doesn't make a mess everywhere even possible. They look like little chips. They're organized so neatly. It's like a bag. Oh, it's like a loaf of bread cut up into slices. Can you see that? I was going to say it's like a tube of Pringles, but... It smells like whole wheat bread. Yeah. It doesn't even smell sweet. Okay, alright. Let's, no, let's see how this goes. So, all right, let me read it again. Gingerbread and spiced pear. Okay. Let me see how much sugar is in the serving. In three crackers, there's only three grams of sugar. So in one cracker, there's one gram. <laughs> it's not that sweet. I can see why they use the word cracker. It kind of tastes like a cracker. Do you want to try it? In a second. It's like super interesting. So let me. <clears throat> it has almonds and raisins and ginger. They seem like they'd be really healthy. That, okay. For a cracker cookie, really healthy. And considering that, that world of. But not like healthy. Dried pears. They actually have pears in here. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me cleanse the palate. Here, let me try another one. I like how they look like little pieces of dried bread. Mm. You'd think it'd be messy, but it's not messy. No, they're not. I like these little pieces that I think are the pear part. No, in there. This piece tastes like dried fruit. They're actually pretty good. They are. It's like a healthy-ish type of cookie healthy cracker. Light snack. Mhm. Mm I would give it an eight and a half out of ten zombies, just because the ginger. Okay, let's get into the the pear. You can taste the pear because the dried pears are in it. The gingerbread. It tastes a little bit like gingerbread. I'm not a big fan of gingerbread, but it's still good. 
I would be willing to try other flavors of this type of thing. But I've never seen these before in my whole entire life. Where do we even get those? Fries. Oh. Yeah, we got these at Fries, which is totally One weird. One of the random things that we got when we spent $500. Yeah, we went to Fries the other day and spent a lot of... Well, you saw the video, probably. Okay. All right, anyways. Yeah, eight and a half. What do you give it? Oh, so we do on a scale of one to ten now? I thought it was one to five. Mm, it's always been one to ten. No, it hasn't. Yeah. No, it hasn't. Mm -hmm. No, it hasn't. Mm -hmm. I can show you all my reviews. Am I experiencing the Mandela effect right now? Because <laughs> I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Has it been one to five? Yes. Ask Zoe. Okay, four and a half out of five. Okay, four and a half out of five zombies. Oh. A four. Alright, changing it to a four. I would say three and a half. Yeah, they're good. I would eat them again, though. Yeah, I would eat... These would be really, really right. good with strawberry-flavored cream cheese. You gotta be careful with stuff like that, because when they're healthy, people always think you can eat more, and then you eat just as many calories well, as you do when they're not healthy. It doesn't advertise that it's healthy, so oh, I... Oh, it doesn't? No, it doesn't say it's healthy. It just... Because there's less sugar, and it... It says a crispy conversation starter. Great to nibble on. With your oh, it says to use them with your favorite dip, cheese, or antipasta. These are sweet though. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it with our cheesy dip. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna eat my lunch. It's right behind you guys. That was a review of a weird Leslie Stowe Rain Coast Crisps. Got a new Pokemon card in the mail today. Only one. Only one today. I know it's kind of dark. Let me turn on the light. It is the Fire Red Leaf Green Charizard EX 2004. This one I bought, I would say, almost a month ago. And because of Christmas and COVID, it has taken a very long time to get here. But it's a really nice card. Other than a, there's, you can't see it, but there's like one light scratch on the hollow. Other than that, it is uh, mint. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. We're currently making dinner. Katie is making herself some eggs. Are you doing over easy, or are you just? Yeah. And then toast. And I'm making totally opposite. A frozen dinner, buffalo boneless strips with mac and cheese. You wanna go outside, dog dog? Hey you. Hey you dog dog. You wanna go outside? You were just standing at the door. Did you change your mind? Do you wanna? Do you wanna? No? Okay, you're goofy. Totally goofy. But anyways, we're cooking dinner. There's like 50 million steps in this TV dinner. It's so weird. Remove film, remove chicken. Microwave oven high. Replace chicken, two minutes. Stir mac and cheese. Rearrange chicken. Two and a half minutes. Check food. Good night. This this girl stayed up till almost four in the morning. I'm so proud of her. Where's the clock? It went away. It's three. It's three forty-five. There we go. We watched. We watched Richard Jewell. I saw it in the theater a long time ago, but she never saw it. So we watched that, and then we watched an old Keanu Reeves movie called Rivers. What? Something with the river. River something. It was weird. It's from like 1986. But that was actually, that was a weird movie. It was pretty good though. It was good, but it was weird. But I think you, you probably want to go to bed now, right? Yeah, I probably should. Yeah. With her week off, she's been getting extra sleep, so now she's able to stay up later. <sighs> Woo! Woo! It was a good night. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And good night, 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 good night. Good night.